I have a newsflash. Chocolate cupcakes do not have to be loaded with butter and fat to be delicious. Mine are healthy and delicious, or I wouldn't want to eat them. The best part, one bowl. So I'll show you how simple this is. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We're going to put paper liners in a, in a muffin pan. Now we're going to sift the dry ingredients. Here's my trusty old used, well used up sifter. Okay, the recipe calls for one and a half cups of all purpose flour, one cup of sugar, regular granulated sugar, right there, quarter cup of cocoa. This is unsweetened uh, cocoa powder. Here's how I keep my baking soda, by the way. This is an old baking powder container, but because they have the uh, the little thing for measuring, uh, I, I, when I'm done with it, I put baking soda in here and I can measure it a lot easier for because I do a lot of baking. So there's one teaspoon of uh, baking soda. Measure it like that. goes right in there. And a half a teaspoon of salt. And I keep my salt in a, in a little glass jar. So that's all the dry ingredients. We're going to sift that into the bowl. That helps to make sure that they're really well combined and you have no lumps in the uh, flour. Now, well, let's just stir it up just a little bit more and get it well combined. And then the liquid ingredients are going to go in here. And the liquid ingredients call for one cup of cool water, uh, six tablespoons of canola oil. Uh, this is a flavorless oil. It's heart healthy. Here's something interesting. One tablespoon of distilled white vinegar, which I just keep in a, in a, a bottle because I make these all the time. So one tablespoon of distilled white vinegar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that's the whole recipe right there. Here's one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. This goes into the dry ingredients. Just pour it right in. And you stir. You don't really need to use an electric mixer. This can be done by hand. It may take um, up to a minute or so just to make sure that it's well combined and there's there are no lumps Who doesn't love chocolate cupcakes and this is one you can eat with no guilt no remorse There's no butter in here. Did you notice that and there's no eggs It's a Great recipe the only butter is a little bit of butter in the uh, frosting which we're going to make in a minute So that looks pretty good a couple of little tiny lumps, but I think we're going to be okay now you can see it's a very uh, liquid batter, so I find the best way to do it, to put it into the cups, is to, into the muffin cups, is to put it back into the measuring cup because it has a spout. Okay, I'll show you how this works. You can get most of it in here. All right. Now I just take a spoon to try not make too much of a mess, and you just pour it in somewhere about a half to two-thirds. There's uh, number 11 and here's number 12. Now you can go back if one has a little bit less than the other. Pretty, pretty, pretty even. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's the whole recipe. Now they go into your 350 preheated oven for 20 minutes. And while they're cooking, we'll make the frosting. Okay, it's time to make the frosting. Again, a very simple recipe. It's two, 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 and two. It's two tablespoons of butter. This is um, softened, room temperature, unsalted butter. Two tablespoons of sour cream. This is, I always use light sour cream. Two cups of confectioner sugar. So here's one cup. And here's the second cup. I like things where you can just kind of throw everything into one bowl and just keep going. So two cups of confectioner sugar. And two tablespoons of, again, the powdered... Uh, chocolate, part of cocoa. There's one, and there's two. You start to stir it a little bit. You start it slow because it has to kind of incorporate without, otherwise it'll come flying in your face. To get it to the right texture, you'll have to add a little more sour cream, but for now, we'll just do this, and then we're gonna add the vanilla. Turn this off. So here's a half teaspoon right here of vanilla. See, here's a lesson to be learned. Never measure over the bowl that you're working on because that can happen. So I just learned a lesson, but I think that's, I can tell by tasting after. I think that's about a half teaspoon of vanilla. I hope it is. So see, 
All right. Now, to get it to be the right uh, texture, we're going to need a little more sour cream. So we'll, oops. We'll try maybe this much. It doesn't take much. Let's see how that works. See, it's already starting to get thicker. And you want a really nice thick. There it goes. And we'll go a little higher now. See how little? It just takes a little bit of uh, moisture in there to get it the right thickness. So that's it. Frosting is done. And yeah. another lesson learned. Don't turn it on when it's facing up. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll have, I'll just leave these over here for later. Okay, so there it is. You kind of stir it up. And I'll show you the cupcakes. This is how they look when they're done, right here. And all you have to do now is take one out and frost it. And uh, this is plenty of frosting right here. You can see how much that made for 12 cupcakes. And you just frost like that. And here's the thing. A lot of people like sprinkles. If you like sprinkles, put them on right away because otherwise, I learned that lesson too, they will not stick. So there's the frosting. And if you do sprinkles, you do it right away. There. How beautiful is that? What a great gift this would be for somebody. Anyway, here they are. Healthy, low-fat, delicious cupcakes. You could eat, these are so healthy you could eat two. Not that I would ever do that, of course. <laughs>